Uh, good morning, everybody. On a Friday, we're going to talk about your weather. Your weather looks to be very pleasant for you today. A few more clouds, temperatures about the same. 52 in Ontario, 52 in Burbank. Area of low pressure to the north, trailing cold front. This is what slides through to the north of us over the weekend. Again, no direct hit. You can see where the direct hit is. Here's your area of low pressure. Here's your cold front. So as this starts to move through, it will drop a lot of rain in through northern California, the Pacific Northwest. Central California gets some rain, but we're just getting the tail end of a cold front. So a couple things about a cold front that is of note. Once it starts to move on shore, the terrain, it really tears apart these fronts. It's hard for them to stay together. And when they do stay together, they become these big, massive storms. And we've had a number of those. But notice how it becomes really spotty in nature. So that is the effect of as it moves on shore and we lose some of that vapor that it picks up and fuels the system over the Pacific and meets some drier air inland, it starts to dissipate dissipate and break apart, but it's still out there. So it is bringing us some light to moderate showers. There will be some snow in the higher uh, elevation areas of the mountains, but it's somewhat on again, off again through your Saturday and Sunday. More of a frustrating weekend forecast. I think it would be much easier for you if I just said, you know what, Saturday and Sunday blanket rain. It's going to rain all weekend long. Uh, now, you may not want that forecast, but at least you know how to plan accordingly. Here I'm saying, you know what, it's coming in waves and it's on again, off again, and you're just going to have to be willing to be a little fluid with your plans. So maybe you stick with your outdoor barbecue plans tomorrow, but no, you know what, if the rain starts to pop up, uh, people may need to come inside for a little bit. Downtown 70, 64, 65, 67. Temperature wise, really not too bad. We do go below the average, but only by a couple of uh, degrees next week. The weekend is the cloudiest forecast, the coolest forecast, the windiest forecast, and of course the one that includes rain with a chance of thunderstorms. Thunderstorms, again, all bets are off on that. We only know that the ingredients are out there. We can't tell you when and where they're going to hit. And mm. if you do, that, those are the areas that will get the brief rain. You'll end up with a half an inch of rain when everybody else gets a tenth of an inch and say, well, I'm lucky or unlucky, depending yeah. on how you look at it. Yeah.